Before we depart, we want to let you know how much we care about your safety. This is inspired by everyone in the country. Good day, one world fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Manila Airport Terminal 2. Today I'm flying Philippine Airlines from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia to Sydney, Australia via Manila. So this video I'll cover the second leg of the journey from Manila to Sydney on Philippine Airlines refurbished Airbus A330-300. Now let's go and join me. The transfer process here at Manila Terminal 2 is quite straightforward. So you get off the plane, go downstairs for security and then you go back upstairs into the air side and that's where we're in right now. It's really crowded and packed here, like it's a ghetto. Ra -da -da -da, ra -da -da -da. Before I boarded my flight to Sydney, Australia, I was told by a friendly Philippine Airlines staff that I had to go downstairs again and I opened my checked in baggage for the security guys to do a drug scan. This was a really weird process, I don't know why they had to do it. Anyways, I'm now back upstairs and we had to do another security screening just before we step on board. You can't bring any liquid into the aircraft. Hello again. I don't know what's going on here. I thought I was going to get bumped up to business class, but now nah, I'm still in the economy. Yeah, thank you. We're good to go now. So here's our aircraft today. It's an eight-year-old Philippine Airlines Airbus A330-300 Romeo Papa Charlie 8781. Hello. Thank you. Welcome on board this newly reconfigured Philippine Airlines A330. In business class, there are 18 seats. Premium economy has 24 and in economy, 267 seats. Ready for you on this long haul flight is a headset, a pillow and a blanket. The pillow and the blanket are both rather cheap. I'm really loving the boarding music by the way. And before we depart, I'm going to show you the seat features quickly. We've got no cot hook, but we've got a TV. It's touchscreen, but you can't adjust the position. And it's got a USB port. The tray table can be moved back and forth, but you can't fold it. And it's rather small as well. Some airlines like Emirates have really large meal trays in economy class, it definitely won't fit in here. You've got a standard seat pocket, and according to Sid Guru, your leg room or sit pitch is about 32 inches. To be honest, it doesn't feel like so though, more like 30 or 31 inches. And at the back, we've got a headrest and it's adjustable. My partner is Captain Ryan Principe and Captain Paul Wilson. I would like to welcome aboard the Philippine Airlines flight here 211 bound for Sydney. We expect to depart in a few minutes from now. Just wait a few more passengers to join the flight and for cargo loading to be done. As soon as this is complete, we should be on our way. The flying time to Sydney will take approximately 7 hours and 30 minutes. We should be climbing to our cruising out to 39,000 feet. If we were to depart in the next 30 minutes, we expect to be on ground at Sydney at about 8.35 in the morning, local Sydney time, just 2 hours ahead of Manila time. Good weather forecast is good, but in the meantime, I would like you to assign seats as soon as possible to facilitate the departure and in line with our company policy required to keep your seat of fastened for the entire flight whenever you are seated. Thank you for your cooperation. From here, we can hear this gorgeous 777 having its engine starting up. It's heading for Los Angeles. Departure time. We just wait a few more passengers uh, for documents and some cargo. As soon as we have them, we should be on our way. Thank you for your patience. This Philippine Airlines flight. Before we depart, we want to let you know how much we care about your safety. This is inspired by everyone in the country for the safety of everyone in this flight. Release your seatbelt, lift the top of the buckle, and pull free in. For business class passenger, into the buckle until you hear it click. Then, pull the sash belt and hook it to the buckle. 
Manila Airport is quite well known for their aircraft maintenance. Lufthansa kind of operates it, so obviously they do send their aircraft here. Like here we see their A340. British Airways before Covid sends their A380 here. Qantas obviously has their A330 looked after here. And Asiana A380 is also looked after here. Now that we've taken off, I'll quickly show you your entertainment system. First of all, your TV screen is really responsive to your fingers, and it's really HD, maybe even 4K. You've got 136 movies to choose from, 34 of which are new movies. And here's a quick look at the flight map. It's not interactive, meaning you have to wait for the slides to change by itself. Amenities are available on this flight, the crew just gave out dental sets to everyone. I thought that was a cute little touch. And now there's a Philippine Alliance promotional video about how the borders are reopening and international travels are back. So dinner is served after takeoff. Tonight we've got two options, either a fish rice or a chicken pasta. I went for the second option, chicken pasta. I regretted it immediately. The pasta looks so bland. Proportionally, there wasn't enough pasta sauce for the pasta. For starter, we got a salad of cucumber, cabbage and carrots. We got dried pineapple, that's very Philippine Airlines. A bread and butter. Every meal comes with a bottle of water. And I went for apple juice for drink of choice. Overall, it was a very average meal. Nothing really stood out and there was no dessert. Soon, the cabin crew came back to collect meal trays and it's time for bed. If you're enjoying this video so far, please spend a few seconds to like this video, comment down below and share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now and hit that bell button next to the subscribe button so next time when I upload, you'll get notified right away. Before the breakfast service commenced, the crew gave hot towels to everyone. And now it's time for breakfast. So for breakfast, there's only one option, there's no choice. But there's still a drink of choice, I went for a cup of tea. Interestingly, unlike their short haul flights, Fresh milk is available on long-haul flights for your coffee and tea and it tastes so much better than the cream I got on my first leg from Kuala Lumpur to Manila. So the food we've got is actually a sandwich. I couldn't really tell what meat that was, I think it was beef. We've also got another type of sandwich, it's called the mini cookie sandwich or fake Oreo I call it. After breakfast, the crew gave out Australian arrival cards to everyone. Temperature of 10 degrees Celsius, visibility of more than 10 kilometers. Air traffic permitting we expect to be on ground at about 6.30. Correction, about uh, 8.30 in the morning, local Sydney time. Current time is 7.47. On behalf of Philippine Airlines, that's the crew, thank you for choosing our flight, and we hope to see you in our recent future flights. Bye-bye, maraming salamat po.
enter hotel quarantine for seven days if they are not fully vaccinated. This video was filmed back in July 2022. Since then, Australia has dropped all travel restrictions regarding COVID-19. You no longer have to be fully vaccinated to enter Australia. We'll soon be landing into Sydney's Kingsford Smith Airport, so let's quickly conclude this trip report with Philippine Airlines right here, right now. Our journey today starts at a ghetto airport, Manila Airport. Now, I've been to Terminal 2 before, I didn't have a good experience at all, so I've lowered my expectation before I even went there again, so it wasn't that bad at all. It was a bit weird though, and annoying, that I had to go back downstairs, and I opened my checked in baggage for them to do a drug scan. And then it was time for boarding. The gate agent was really, really friendly. When I sat down at my seat, I noticed a few things. Let's start with the pros first. The screen resolution was really high. We got a nearly refurbished A330 with a configuration of a standard 242. Older Philippine Airlines A330 have a horrendous configuration of 333. A few more pros. The recline is really comfortable. The overall design felt ergonomic. It's built for people. Now for the cons, your personal TV screen is really reflective. Like right now, I could barely see anything but myself. The tray table was tiny. For a newly designed economy seat, there wasn't much seat features and storage compartments or space. All you've got really is that seat pocket. No extra pouches or anything at all. So in conclusion for the seat, it was comfortable, but more could be done to make it one of the best economy seats out there. For the food and beverages, it really was quite average on this flight. The first meal was bland. Second meal, the sandwich, didn't look appetizing at all. While Philippine Airlines is just a Skytrax 4-star airline, there are definitely a few traits that are 5-star. For instance, they gave out toothbrush and toothpaste after takeoff, and they gave out hot towels before the breakfast service commenced. You don't even get that on Cathay or Singapore Airlines. Additionally, the cabin crew were all friendly on this flight. Overall, it was a solid flight on board Philippine Airlines from Manila to Sydney. Now for your information, if you were to purchase a return ticket from Manila to Sydney on Philippine Airlines economy class, your airfare would start from 41,300 Filipino pesos. Qantas is more or less the same. Cebu Airways is about half the price. So guys, that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching today's trip report. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Again, please like, comment and share. And please, please, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Each and every of your action will help the growth of my channel because you're helping me to improve my YouTube algorithm. You can add me or follow me on my social media like Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram and Be Real. On Instagram, I post stories as I fly. On Snapchat, on the other hand, I post stories at my destinations. And Be Real, obviously, it's spontaneous every day. Lastly, if you want to make direct impacts into funding my flights, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. Please visit the links in the description for more information. Again, thanks for watching. Please enjoy the landing into Sydney. And after disembarking, I'll show you a Kuala Lumpur vlog. Please enjoy. Bye.
There's a medical emergency just after we landed. The cabin crew were looking for a doctor and a few medical things. As a result of the emergency, this embarking was slightly delayed, but I'm kind of glad for that particular passenger that the emergency began just after we landed. We're now walking past premium economy class. We're now in business class in a one-to-one -one configuration. Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I'm in the Shangri-La Hotel in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And from here, I've got a gorgeous skyline view. So I've got the KL Tower in front of me. And that taller building is going to be the world's second tallest building behind the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. The construction for this building is going to be completed later this year. During my stay this time, I've got access to the executive lounge. Shangri-La calls them the Horizon Club. It's a massive and impressive lounge. They've got a very nice selection of breakfast. So I got Nasina Mac, a few dim sum, salmon, a strawberry yogurt, and English tea. In addition to the buffet, there's a selection of menu items. I went for a bowl of laksa. I've got nothing too much to do today, so I'm just going to check out the swimming pool right now. I'm now back in the Horizon Club for afternoon tea. Now it's time for some gym session. This gym is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, I've ever seen in a hotel. Already. We're now out for drinks and dinner at the Marini's. <laughs> From the rooftop bar, your view is amazing. You're looking straight at the Twin Towers. They're the tallest Twin Towers in the world. Now we've moved on to the Italian restaurant next door. And from this angle, we can see again the KL Tower. These two. So one is Earl Grey, and one is the almond with white chocolate, I think. Too. I just got back to the hotel, got changed, and now I'm heading to the trek. It's like the LKF in Hong Kong. We're now taking the cab to a food outlet called Nasi Kangda per litre. It's open 24-7. The food there is amazing. So guys, thank you so much for watching the Philippine Airlines trip report. I hope you enjoyed that and the vlog as well. I'll see you again next Thursday. Bye. So I'm just walking back to the hotel now. It's almost 6 a.m. Oh my god, I want to go to bed so bad. Um, um so uh ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.